What's going on everybody? We got another week of NFT mints, but this time it's coming at a time of peak volatility. There's been a bunch of negative news with FTX. Now people are looking into crypto.com. It's just not a great time for the market. So I don't recommend you guys mint any NFTs that you aren't willing to hold for a long time. I do want to be clear that crypto.com isn't necessarily scamming anybody or doing any malpractice. It's just that all the FUD from FTX has made people worry that maybe there is that domino effect that could start to come. If any of you guys do have your crypto on exchanges and you're starting to worry, just create a wallet and simply transfer it over. It's the safest way to hold on to your assets long term. With that said, we're going to jump into our two mints for this week. And those mints are going to be Rudy and Tops and Blurry Kids. The first project we're going to cover is Rudy and Tops. And Rudy and Tops is going to be a graphic novel series created by the artist who brought you guys Salty Seagulls. The reason they're creating this project is because comic books and graphic novels are becoming less popular, but also because these same old people are kind of recycling the same old content. It's kind of like the music industry where record labels are taking control of all of the music. Now a quick deviation, we were about to cover the 10k collection, however they have reduced this to 5200. That was the old white paper that I was reading, so you might see some of the old white paper in there and some of the new white paper. So while we're on the topic, the whitelist is going to take place on November 18th and the mint will be on November 19th and the price will be 88 ADA for a total supply of 5200, not 10k. A little extra about the mint is that you can buy in bulk. So if you do buy 3 rudies, that's only 250 and if you buy 5, that's 400. The main plot is going to be that a Neanderthal teen named Rudy and his best friend Tops, who is a Triceratops, were orphaned at an early age, and they get into daily adventures during the Jurassic period with the help of a supernatural gem that was mysteriously entrusted to Rudy. They meet friends and foes on their epic journey while discovering their purpose. Some of the utility that they will be offering is that they want to buy floors of projects that they believe in, and they're going to be holding them for a set period of time and then maybe selling them or staking them later on. Now 25% of the royalties will go back to the CNFT holders and based off of your rank you will get a higher percentage. The remaining 75% will go to the team to help support their business. They are also planning staking to come sometime in the future. Now after their mint, if you do hold one Rudy, you will get two digital pages of their comic book. There will be a total of 16 pages. If you hold eight Rudies, you'll get the entire book. If you hold eight Rudies, you'll also get an automatic whitelist for their next drop which is the tops drop. The top 10 Rudy holders will receive free Tops NFTs plus VIP passes. If you hold 25 or more, you'll get 5 signed copies of the first ever comic book plus free Tops NFTs and the VIP pass. If you do have their VIP pass, you will need to continue to hold it to receive all of these rewards, but you will receive a free NFT every drop, a staking boost once that's established, you'll get whitelist for every drop, all digital copies of the comic book pages, and free access to their Patreon. Now moving over to their caveman council, this is going to be reserved for those who are the most active inside of their discord, so you have to earn EXP to move up. Also, if you are a top Rudy NFT holder, you will also hold a seat in the council. So there's a bit that goes into this, and going through their laws, this is how it works. Any member can become part of the caveman council, to the hunter goes the spoils, which just means whoever participates the most will be getting the most rewards. The only way to make it to the caveman council is by being active and participating in the server. The Caveman Council will make all of the decisions in the project because they've shown the most commitment. There will also be a Tribe King who makes most of the decisions, but if the Council doesn't like it and 70% do vote against it, then it can be outvoted. The Wise One will be the highest level member, so right underneath the King, and then the Elders will be appointed by the King as well as the Wise Ones, which will be the members in 2nd through 8th place. Now juniors hold seats at the table but are at most risk of being overtaken by an active member. The caveman council positions will be revisited every month and all members of the council must hold at least one Rudy NFT. Jumping into rarities, the Rudy NFT rarities are based on clans and gems. So depending on your clan and the gem that you hold will determine the level. Feel free to pause it here if you want to look through all the rarities, but basically the highest is going to be the Space Cadets and that gives you 5 points, and the Crystal Gem that is also going to give you 5 points. So the highest possible level is going to be level 10, and that's going to be if you are a Space Cadet holding a Crystal Gem. My overall thoughts is that the mint price is fair, the mint supply is fair, and being the artist of Salty Seagulls is going to bring some of that support over from that project. Also I think that their artwork is really well done, but there are some things that do make me a little hesitant. 
So when they talk about buying floors, they're going to be using a certain wallet to be purchasing CNFTs from other projects, and then their goal is to hold for a certain period of time and sell them or stake them. The profit will then be distributed amongst the holders. But what's not clear here is how much money they're going to be using or where that money is going to come from. And if they do make a bad investment, then how is that money going to be made up? Also, where it says staking, it's not clear whether they're going to be using a service such as Cardano Lands or maybe Ape Society, or if they're going to be creating their own token and their own website and then doing their own staking. I'm also a little bit nervous to see how many people are going to support a comic book series. We did have the first comic book being the Attack on Vitalik, and right now it's at a 25 floor with 52,000 in volume. The bigger issue is likely liquidity though. There's just not a whole lot in the market right now during all of this volatility. And even with projects such as NFT Seeker that offer a bunch of utility, they're still below mint price. And I know that NFT Seeker didn't have the greatest mint, but still. But the art is pretty fire. And they are supported by Salty Seagulls, like I said, to some degree. So maybe after they mint, if they go below mint price, maybe I'll scoop a few off the floor. But now moving over to Blurry Kits. Blurry Kits is going to be launching their 5,555 PFPs that are 5k high res PNGs with 15 plus attributes and 200 plus traits. Blurry Kits does have a fully doxxed team and they will also be minting on November 19th for 65 ADA. And if you're not aware, Blurry Kits has already minted out their first mint, which were their VIK passes. They were 100 ADA each for a total supply of 300 using Secret Goat Society as their mint partner which they will also be using for their second mint. It's pretty cool to see as well that these are sitting at about a 3.7x, so this is a decent sign for their next mint. Some of the benefits for this is that on their next mint, you will be able to mint three of them for a discounted price of 30 ADA. You'll also get 100% of royalties from the secondary sale given back to you through the form of raffles, 50% of the OG kits royalties will be given back to you in the form of monthly airdrops, for every future drop of the kits lounge, you will receive one free airdrop, lifetime whitelist for all future drops, one of one raffles after the main collections, whitelist for partner projects, as well as discounts for those projects. Checking out the OG kits and some of their artwork, I personally don't love it, I also don't hate it, I think it's just somewhere in the middle. When you scroll down a little bit, you do see where it talks about utility. It says the more you hold, the higher your chance to win is, and more will be announced closer to mint. Well, we are very close to mint date, and I went through their Discord, and I still don't see anything talking about the utility of their OG kits. So we may not know all the specifics of their utility, but we do know what they're trying to build. There is an issue with online ticket purchasing right now, where if you do buy a ticket online, it is attached to you, and when you go to your concert or whatever it is, you have to share your ticket. But let's say you get sick, and then you want to refund your ticket. Well, if you don't do it quick enough, sometimes you can't get refunded. So their goal is to upcycle the outdated and complicated ticket services. They would like it to be like trading cards, where you can buy, sell, and trade them whenever you like. There also may be some hints inside of this roadmap that they posted for future utility. So they say within their BKL verse, you find a secret place behind the mountains where kids can find their inner child. And then if you scroll down, it says feel free to zoom in and explore everything in detail. Otherwise, you may miss some of the smallest hints. So if I'm looking at this roadmap and I'm not sure, what I see here in the top left is something to do with mining, perhaps. This looks like it says staking building. And I know it says zoom in, but I cannot. I don't know what it is. I have tried to zoom in, but I cannot. So this to me, I think says staking center. This is their BKL store, if I had to guess, because they do have a BKL store segment in their Discord, which I will go over. This is raffle tickets. This maybe is a concert because it is a ticket system. So maybe they'll be giving away some free tickets to concerts or something. Um, maybe they'll be giving away tickets to like Six Flags or something because there's an amusement park over here as well. Or maybe there'll be a group event at Six Flags at some point. And then over here, this is just talking about their AMAs. So they'll be answering questions that you guys have. I'm not sure what this laser beam is. I'm going to ignore that for now. Maybe uh, it's something special. And then the top part right here with the mountains, it looks like they're sledding down. Maybe this is going to be tickets to like a ski resort or something. And then lastly, the future things to come will be the tokenomics, merchandise, and something that's under construction. Now we spoke about their BKL store, but this is going to explain everything. So inside of their Discord, there's this BKL verse, where there's a BKL city, security breach, store, streets, Cardano lands, and kit coins. So trying to make this as simple as possible, there's going to be coins, and you're going to be able to exchange them for physical and digital prizes. There's a few ways that you can get these coins. One of the main ways is through the roll income. If you type collect income, you will earn kit coins once daily based on which rolls you have. 
and income from certain roles will stack. There's also the work income, which is probably the most common. All you have to do is type work every three hours inside of bank, and then you're gonna receive a random amount of kit coins. Now I think it says bank just because that's their bot. If you actually go to BKL City and then you do star work, you're gonna get the random amount of coins. You can also earn coins by talking inside of their server as well as helping out some of the community members. And then before I go and talk about how to spend your coins, you can also earn coins by playing blackjack or by playing roulette. And if you want to collect your income, you're going to have to do star collect income. And if you want to deposit your coins once you've collected, then you can do star deposit and then put in the amount. And if you want to withdraw, then you would do star withdraw and the amount. And before I go into my overall view on this project, if you do want to use these coins and buy them inside of their BKL store, you'll have to go over to BKL store and then click on this link here. This is going to show you all of their whitelist slash NFTs that are currently being offered. Overall, what they're building is, in my opinion, 100% necessary. Sometimes you buy these tickets months ahead of time, and you have no idea what's going to come in the future, and whatever reasons you may have for not going need to be validated. It stinks that sometimes these companies don't care, or they have slow response times, and you never get refunded. Like I said earlier, the art isn't necessarily for me, but there's nothing wrong with it either. I think that the overall vibe of this project is really cool too, with their BKL city and the way that you earn these tokens, and the fact that you can actually use these tokens, it gives people a reason to come back to their discord, which is good marketing. But once again, the environment that we're in right now is really bad for Cardano and for the overall crypto market. So for a mint and flip, I'm not thinking that it has a high possibility of being a 2x or a 3x after mint. So just like the last project, I'm going to be patient, and if there are a few that are way under mint price, maybe I'll scoop a few for the long term. But all right, everybody, that's everything that I wanted to cover in today's video. I really do appreciate you guys for watching. And remember to get outside, see your family, see your friends. We're here to make more money so that we can spend more time with them. Until next time, guys. Peace. I get it like a G, but it never came easy. You got me coughing up a lung, I wish I rap like Wheezy. I keep my pace, so I'm sorry that I'm breezy. Keep my sneaks laced because I can't afford Yeezys. I don't want the gold, give me BTC. Y'all be acting crazy. I